What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Battletech bringing you another video and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be playing around with the Alienware Alpha with Steam OS installed. Let's get to it. Alright, so what's going on now is we're now waiting on Steam OS to fully load. Uh, what it looks like it just finished doing that just now. Um, we're going to take a look at um, some of the settings and some interesting things. Uh, for instance, uh, on the Windows side, if I go on the GeForce Experience and look at the GPU, it just shows up as um, what does it say? Uh, NVIDIA GPU. And, you know, they said it's a custom 860M. Um, but if we go into system settings here, and I'll show you all of this stuff first. Uh, blah, blah, blah. SteamOS version. And what what's this? A 750Ti. So it sees the custom 860M inside of the Alpha as a 750Ti. Don't know what that means yet, but it does. Um, another thing, uh, Steam OS has full support for Alien Effects right out of the box, um, so I didn't have to do anything special. I just installed Steam OS, and it saw that it was an Alienware um, machine, and automatically um, give me light controls. And, and you see here, everything's working. I'll pick a a lighter color so you can see the change happen in real time you know there's only two zones on the alpha the uh, power button and the triangle on the side and you can change both of those bad boys independently as you can see nothing new nothing spectacular nothing that you know it's not like it changes the game or anything it's just as cool to have it um but yeah um you know, all the rest of the settings, uh, for the most part, are, you know, exactly what you will see in Steam Big Picture Mode in Windows. So, nothing too spectacular there. Um, and right now, I'm working on finding a way to record the screen along with the uh, frames per second um, on Steam OS. Um, and I heard that there's supposed to be a couple record my screen programs that will work on um, Debian 9, which is the flavor of Linux that Steam OS is based on. So as soon as I figure out how to um, get those installed and, and, and record, and, you know, flawlessly, I'll go ahead and get those um, benchmark videos put up. Um, but right now, I'm just going to go ahead and load up uh, Metro Last Light and The Witcher 2. And I'm going to play both games uh, very horribly with one hand. So um, you guys can just see it running around. Um, one thing, and I've seen this in other um, videos about SteamOS. Um, it's really not a big surprise to me, but some of you guys probably didn't see it before. But if we go down here to the video settings there's only a quality slider there's no ambient occlusion there's no bloom there's no motion you know all of the settings that you would typically see in the videos options section um, are not there under Linux um, I do um, notice a, a, a little bit of a performance boost um, running um, these two games with Steam OS and I think um, that's mainly because uh, a lot of the DX features and some of the PhysX stuff um, by default on Linux are either disabled or turned down real, real low um, so that, you know, it would perform faster. Um, but uh, like I said, I, you know, as I learn more, I'll, uh, you know, make more videos and, and get those bad boys out to you guys. But as it stands right now, um you know this it's it looks pretty good um the library of games that um are compatible with steam os those are constantly getting bigger 
Um, but I think they have a really, really long way to go in terms of getting everybody to completely just dump Windows and, and ride with uh, Linux. But um, right now, it's, um, you know, if they're on the right track, I, I'll say that. Um, and only time will tell when DX12 comes out. And, you know, I'm just waiting to see where all the chips fall at this point. But right now, everything looks pretty good. Um, I wish I could say the same for the video quality, um, <laughs> but it, it's kind of hard to hold it, like I say, with one hand and, and record at the same time. Um, but yeah, man, um, yeah, it's it's not completely finished. It's still in beta stage, so um, there will be glitches and things like that. Um, oh, yeah, this is something new. Um, I want to talk about the Witcher 2's launcher. Anybody that's played this game before um on the windows um platform will know you know you know that the launcher just comes up with a little window that you can only navigate using the mouse um i really really like that that cd project red took the time to actually include a controller based launcher um for the steam os version of this game seeing as how steam os is mainly going to be interface you know using a controller um so it's, it's good to see devs you know taking just little measures like that to ensure that you're going to have a really good experience with steam os um and the controller so you know it's I'm, I'm real excited 2015 should shape up to be a really really good year for just all things gaming not just pc but it, it should be good across the board i'm really excited i can't wait to see what's going to happen but uh yeah like i said i'm gonna show off a little bit of witcher 2 um playing it horribly with one hand on my app and uh i'm gonna shut up at this point and let you guys check out the uh sort of gameplay and as always if there's something you guys want to see in my videos, think I should change or whatever, um, let me know. Leave it down in the comments and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get back to you like instantly and, uh, you know, rate and comment, subscribe and all that good stuff, man. You you know how YouTube works. But, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Um, and uh, peace. <laughs> Allah.